Alright mates, how's it going? In today's video, we're starting the first chapter of Dawn of the Aspects. It's only taken five videos to get here. Let's get! Kalek arrived at the Dragon Wastes and had a little look-see at his surroundings. The most obvious landmark was Wormrest Temple. Despite the ravages of time and several fierce conflicts that had engulfed this region, the temple still looked alright. And far to the north, there were a whole bunch of unsettling mounds dotting the icy landscape. Each mound was in fact a frost-encrusted corpse of a dragon, so that's nice. The Dragon Wastes were the graveyard to hundreds of his kind, whatever their colour. It was a grim reminder that even the mightiest of creatures are not invulnerable. He knew the others would already be waiting inside Wormrest for him, so he quickly made his way there, and even on the inside, the temple was bloody enormous. Its historical significance was not lost on Kalek either. The Blue Aspects head deeper into the temple, and for a second, got a little bit worried that he had in fact arrived before everyone else. Not in a arriving first makes me seem like a loser kind of way, he just felt it was a bit arrogant, since he was the youngest and newest of the Aspects. But then he heard Nosdormu's voice, and he thought, of course Nosdormu's already here. He's the Aspect of Time, innit? Kalek entered the room and really awkwardly yelled, I'm here! Nosdormu, Isira and Alexstrasza sort of looked at him as if to say, yeah, we noticed. Kalek saw each Aspect was joined by a trusted champion from their flight and recognised them immediately. Cronormu, or Chromi, from the Bronze Flight, Marithra, daughter of Asira, and Aphrath the Stars, who had, <laughs> who had once led the Wormrest defences against the Twilight's Hammer. But that trio were just here to listen, be quiet, and remain in the background, something Kalek still felt he should be doing, rather than actually taking part in this meeting. There's no need to be nervous, Kalagos. Thanks, Lady Alexstrasza. You can just call me Kalek if you want. Nosdormu kind of did one of those snort laugh type things, but Alexstrasza nodded. Kalek, right. Forgive me for forgetting your preferred... What is it you young'uns call it? Nickname? Perhaps we should all have nicknames! Asira wasn't being sarcastic. She actually sounded genuinely excited. But her excitement didn't seem to rub off on Alexstrasza or Nosdormu at all. Let's just get on with the accord, shall we? There was no ceremony this time. Previous accords would have started with some great magical spectacle, like fireworks or something. But the aspects were no longer the guardians of Azeroth they had once been. They sacrificed their remaining essences in order to defeat Deathwing, so it was actually kind of pointless that they were having this brain trust at all. And that became increasingly obvious because they were now all just standing there in silence, each waiting for someone else to take charge and say something. And it was actually Chromie who broke that silence. Hey, so if I may, the timeways are in flux. It might have something to do with when you guys went and got the Dragon Soul from the past. The timeways are no longer our concern, Chronormu. That's for the younger races to deal with now. Chromie obviously wanted to say something else, but she just nodded instead. Then Marithra spoke. Since we're all sort of speaking out of turn, there's been some rumours that the nightmare stirs in the Rift of Aln. It might be seeking a new puppet. Did you not just hear what Noz said? The druids will deal with that. We're not aspects anymore. Yeah, right. The druids. Not aspects anymore. Gotcha. Everyone then turned to Aphras the Strath, expecting him to ask a dumb question as well. But he didn't say anything. And Kalek suddenly became very conscious he hadn't invited a blue champion to say something stupid either. He also felt like the silence and awkwardness of this brain trust was really wearing at his patience. I would speak! Nosdormu stifled another one of those snort laughs. Go on then. The contents of the Nexus? Oh for fuck's sake. Is that all? Does this have anything to do with the rest of us? Well, not directly, no. Not directly. Which is another way of saying, no, it doesn't. I told you sis, this whole thing was a complete waste of time. We've always met at this cycle of the Twin Moons. It would have been disrespectful not to. Nosdormu, again, laugh snorted. Disrespectful to who? Elune? The Titans? What a load of old shit. If Sarah's right, this was a mistake. There's no point to the Accord anymore. In fact, if this gathering had any purpose at all, it would be to finally put the Accord to rest, so we can all just move on with our own problems. Kalek was absolutely stunned. Especially when Alexstrasza didn't argue, she seemed to be genuinely mulling over Nosdormu's proposal. The Accord isn't just about us. It's kept order among our flights. It's prevented catastrophe more than once. As long as we're united, there's always hope. United? Yeah, we've been so bloody united over the millennia, haven't we? But the aspects have always... We are not aspects. Our time is done, Kalak. Azeroth must look to other defenders now. There was so much pity in Alexstrasza's voice that Kalak winced. He still couldn't believe what he was seeing. And now Nosdormu and Asira were actually heading towards the exit, as if this had been a really good brain trust meeting. Where are you going? Home. Kalek was starting to realise now that although he still viewed these three ancient beings in terms of their titles, 
they viewed themselves as merely three dragons, among many other dragons. He made one final attempt to speak out in favour of the Accord. Lady Alexstrasza, surely you at least, Azeroth will survive without us, Kallik. You will survive without us. Nosdormu, we will meet once more, in a month. If we're to dissolve the Accord, we'll do it properly. Fine. It deserves a proper burial, I guess. See you in a month. Yep, fine by me. One month from today. Bye. Alexstrasza then turned to the young blue and tried to somewhat console him. Soz, mate. It's three to one. And we're leaving it there! So, out of context, this video might seem about as pointless as that Accord was, but in the next video, we'll finish the first chapter and hopefully soon get past all the character and world building stuff and get into the, you know, Galakron stuff. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying the book. I'm not affiliated to any retailers, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!